I know, I know. You might be going, the Stream Deck is for streamers. Well, you know what? You're in luck because you can make money out of your Stream Deck. So after today, you look at the Stream Deck completely differently. So at the heart, the Stream Deck is a fantastic tool that enhances your speed and avoids repetition. You know what the simplest way to define the Stream Deck is? You can replace 10 clicks for a single action into one click for 10 actions. And it works for both Windows and Mac. After you buy a keyboard and a mouse, this is definitely the next peripheral that you should be going in for. So I've been using the Stream Deck for more than three years now. And I simply love what it does for me. So let's start with some use cases. Say you do a little bit of daily trading. You know how day traders make money? They try and exploit the minute price movements in individual assets, stocks, currencies, futures, and options. So you can then connect the Stream Deck to your trading software to configure it, and then you can begin to trade. And you'd follow some stocks, some bonds, some currencies, and you can place limit or stop orders, or you can move towards inverting your positions or cancel all of your orders at once. If software is your passion, then you can optimize the development process of applications and increase productivity by reusing code. This way, you can code way, way more and get your products much faster to market. So reusing code also reduces errors, bugs, testing, and development time. And if you're in web development, mobile app development, AI, cybersecurity, or even project management, you'll have a ton of opportunities to reuse code. And when it comes to creating and selling Notion templates, it comes down to speed, writing formulae, and accessing Notion AI to help you with everything. So the Stream Deck buttons help you store these formulae. Let's say you create an online course to make money. The pain lies in the execution and creating of a number of videos to explain the concept and using different software to generate the course. The Stream Deck can be used to access different software, capturing screens, editing your course, and your audio, and of course your graphics. So with the help of the Stream Deck, you get to make more courses. Let's say you're employed and you work in customer services. You can use the Stream Deck to respond to customer queries. If you address sales inquiries, you can use the Stream Deck to point customers in the right direction. Of course, you can use the Stream Deck to launch apps, files and folders, to control your Zoom calls or your Teams calls, to automate Microsoft Office apps, or to access predefined web pages. So on my Stream Deck, I've configured it to use it for AI, for example. And I use AudioPen, MacGPT, or Notion AI to access different AI use cases. And if you use it at home, you can control your smart lights or even your printer. So that way you can save time. The lesson here for me is to work faster, smarter, and reuse the save time to focus on income generating activities. That will make more money for us. So the real question is, can you save some time with this? So for this, you will need to understand what the Stream Deck can do and how it can do it. So there are actually seven different types of Stream Decks in the market. The first one is the Mini with six keys. It's too small. And I would recommend this to very, very small handful of people. And then of course, there's the Stream Deck Pedal. It's a very niche product. And while I see a huge upside to using legs at work simultaneously, and I multiply my productivity twice over. It's probably not the first product for most people. So that leaves us with five types of Stream Decks. If you're unsure about getting a Stream Deck, try getting a mobile version. It's free for 30 days and doesn't require any hardware. You can install it on your phone, no matter if it's an iPhone or an Android. Sooner or later, you'll run out of buttons. So I would strongly recommend getting the Excel if it's your first product. The Stream Deck Plus with eight buttons and four dials is widely favored due to its popularity and it's new. Although it offers considerable power, it may not be the top choice for everyone. So all the Stream Decks have buttons and each button can be programmed. One button can do one function or multiple actions at the same time using the multi-action function. And each action could be to open a website, 
open a folder, a hotkey, open an app, close an app, text, or multimedia. But you know where the power is? The power starts to come when you combine all of this into multi-action functions. And of course, you can pair it with apps like the Keyboard Maestro, Hazel, or Text Expander. You can get creative and execute JavaScript, Python, Regex, and much, much more. The dials on the Stream Deck Plus can execute hotkeys by turning them clockwise, anti-clockwise, or by pressing a dial. You can create a dial stack by allowing one dial to house multiple functions. And you can swap out this function by pressing the dial. The third function of the dial can be executed by pressing on the touch bar to give back that hotkey because now you're using the dial stack to change the stacks. So how easy is it to set this up? So the Stream Deck process is quite simple for simple things and you can get started in just five minutes after you install the Stream Deck software that comes with your Stream Deck. However, there are some advanced functions. They do require a bit of configuration and that could take a little bit of time and of course some technical knowledge. But you know what? There are some marketplaces right from within the app. There are third party ones that are fantastic and they cater to plugins that work out of the box just to get you started. So on my website, you can find Notion profiles for Stream Deck, the regular version, the Plus and the Excel version that you can pick up as well. That covers all the functions in Notion and I keep adding to these all the time. They come with fantastic help guides to explain what each button does. And for the Plus version, I've added in some videos that explain things in a deeper way. So if you want to see more incredible videos centered around productivity for self or for business, subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay notified of new videos. Till the next video, adios amigos.